Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Carter. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm going to be walking around your new Flagstaff Microlite today and just showing you some different basic things and how it functions. Well, first things up here in the front is we've got our power tongue jack. That powers it up and down. This turns on our light, which is located right there. That's just for when you go to hook up and unhook the camper. Underneath here, we've got your connections for your propane tanks. There's an automatic changeover valve. Righty tighty shuts off the tanks. Lefty loosey will open up those tanks. These you just twist it and that'll unlock that. You've got your deep cycle battery here, which are attached to your solar cell, which is on the roof, which will actually keep those charged up for you. You got jacks in all four corners here, which is nice. And the additional solar hookup there. Some wonderful basement pass-through storage there. These stairs, when you go to operate these, just these actually will just lift up and fold right into the doorway. Hot water heater here on this side, six gallon fast recovery. Anode rod is located down below there. This is ignited and turned on from the inside of the camper there, okay? Furnace, do keep the little ones away from that as it can, can, can become hot. So keep them. Cable hookups right there. A place to hook up your exterior TV and then your outside speakers here too. You do have an outside stove here as well. Refrigerator stove. There is a quick connect LP line which is located right underneath here where that white tag's hanging down. You just plug that in for the stove and that gives you your gas. Behind here, we've got your hot and cold shower for that. And of course, again, you've got jacks on all four corners which you use a crank handle to crank those up and down. You've got a rear hitch. Generally, they rate the hitches at 250 pounds tongue weight or a maximum of a couple thousand pounds. Um, not generally a good idea to try and exceed that. This is your rear door uh, for accessories like grills, things like that you wanna put in there or just overall storage. Ladders are rated at 250 pounds. It is a good idea not to exceed that weight limit. That's your prep for your backup camera. Spare tire, tire comes, of course, with the camper. You do have a 25 foot power cord that you hook up over here on this side. That will come with the electrical adapter that converts from 30 to 15 amp as well. City water connections and then black tank flush. Okay, down here below, your three inch valve is your waist, your inch and a half is your gray. It is a good idea to check the lug nuts on the tires after the first 250 miles as they can become loose and just as an added extra safety measure. When we wanna fill our fresh water tank, we can do that from right up here as well. These are for our docking lights, which of course are for the front of the camper. Wonderful storage pass through here. That's that crank handle we were talking about. Amazing pass through storage there. Your drain for your low point, which is the drain for the tanks, which is located right underneath there. Let's walk you inside the camper. Okay, guys. Pop your handle. All you do is lift this up. That'll twist around. Okay. Motion censored activated key panel. You notice how that just kicked on for us. This tells us the levels of the tanks, awning lights, step lights, interior lights. Um, this will turn on your hot water heater. That's your gas. That's your electric. That's your water pump. And then your tank heaters that you do have underneath this. This slides your slide out out and that will slide out your awning for you. Keys are located around your kitchen faucet. You notice you do have ground fault outlets for protection there. This is your solar panel regulator, just to let you know, or your controller, just to let you know it's being charged on the roof. So that is a good indication of the amount of charge you're getting from that fire extinguisher. Hopefully you never have to use that. On your fold down bed, what you do is fold down the couch first. You pull it forward with this little loop that's right there. Pull those two pins on either side and that all swings down. Real simple operation. You twist the handles, and that'll fold the handles out for you. You've got storage underneath your dinette benches. Table folds down and makes into a bed to go across there. Your stove, when you go to light your stove, fold back your cover. Get that out of your way. This is your spark igniter. So you turn this to high, and voila, there you go. That's simple. Your refrigerator. Release handle right there. 
Temperature controls are right there. Real simple operation. For those, you can set the desired temperature. Microwave, pretty self-explanatory. A light over the hood, as well as an additional fan. Your remotes are generally in your drawers for your, your TV. Your thermostat is right here. Want to operate our heat? We flip that to the far heat side. Leave it on auto for fan. That's always generally your best. We want air conditioning. We do the same thing. Flip it over to cool. Notice our air conditioning kicked right on. We got our thermostat turned right down right there. So that'll cool it. That'll cool it right down real quick for you. Wonderful ba bathroom here. All sorts of space. These are ground fault plugs here. So if all of a sudden you lose your power on your 110 outlet, there's a little green light on there. Just push to reset that, and that'll trip that and reset that for you. Overhead fan in there too. And of course, that bottom bunk, as you know, folds up for additional storage and space. Well, we're gonna go ahead and shut that off. You guys, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. That is just some of the basics on your new RV. If you do have additional questions, we'd love to help you out. So please don't hesitate to give us a call. We do appreciate your business and hope you enjoy it. So thank you again. Have a great day.